and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Lexi Watson, a certified functional medicine practitioner, pharmacist by license, and the founder and CEO of Oakley Wellness. Today, I wanted to go over one of my favorite supplements of all time, magnesium. So magnesium is actually used in over 300 different reactions in the body, so it's pretty important. And it's actually how your body transports energy molecules from where it's made to where it's needed, and that includes to your brain cells. It's actually needed for all of your cells to function properly, from your brain to your liver, muscles and gut, everything. And sadly, at least 40% of the population in the United States is deficient. And that doesn't even include the people that are insufficient, which means that you're less than optimal, but not to the level where you're classified as deficient. Now, because it's used for so many different things in the body, you can use magnesium to help with a lot of different things. But some of these common uses depend on the type of magnesium. You see, magnesium molecularly is a cation, which means it has a positive charge. It's not a neutral molecule on its own. So in order for it to be stable, it has to be attached to something called a salt. And that allows us to absorb it, for us to make it into a supplement and things like that. So a few of the most common things it's used for are sleep, muscle relaxation, and brain function enhancement. Now, there are many different types of magnesium, like the magnesium salts that I talked about just a second ago, but I'm gonna to talk to you about my two favorite, glycinate and threonate. So you would see these on a supplement bottle as magnesium glycinate or magnesium threonate. Now, magnesium glycinate is the one I use most often. It's readily absorbed into the body and dispersed wherever it needs to go. It's super easy on the digestive tract and great for sleep, muscle cramps, and bringing up your levels of magnesium. Magnesium threonate, on the other hand, easily crosses the blood-brain barrier, and it's mainly used to enhance brain function. And aside from the research associated with this form, I have seen this benefit anecdotally in my clients. Regardless of whether your goal is for better sleep or better brain function, if you want to incorporate this into your routine, I do suggest taking pretty much any form of magnesium at night. And that's because it can make you sleepy. And I'm not going to get on my soapbox about supplement quality today, but I do want to remind you that supplements are not FDA regulated. And so you do need to be really choosy about the ones that you put in your body. You'll find a link to my favorite high quality professional grade magnesiums in the description below. So I hope this was helpful. If you have questions, please leave a comment and be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to join me on other platforms and I'll see you next time.